Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each day, a staff member or volunteer will introduce a work of art from our permanent collection and pose questions. Please join us here every day at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new conversation. My name is Amy Dehan, and I am the Curator of Decorative Arts and Design at the Cincinnati Art Museum. And today, I would like to share a pair of portrait plaques that were gifted to the museum's collection in 2002. And when you visit the Art Museum, you can see these in Gallery 219. These polychrome portrait plaques appear to be a pair. The artist, who we have not yet identified, carved the portraits out of salvaged wood, what looks to be a door or chair rail molding. According to lore, the portrait plaques were acquired at a house sale in the Cincinnati community of College Hill. They are said to depict Jesse Dwight Locker and his wife, Anna French Locker. The Lockers were leaders in Cincinnati's Black community who lived in College Hill on Cedar Avenue from 1918 to 1952. Mr. Locker was an attorney and the third African-American elected to Cincinnati's City Council. In 1953, Locker was chosen by President Dwight Eisenhower to serve as ambassador to the nation of Liberia, which was founded in 1822 by freed slaves from the United States. Mrs. Locker was a respected horticulturist. Considering the Locker's stature as local and international leaders, it is not surprising that someone felt compelled to memorialize them by creating their portraits. However, we have never been able to confirm with absolute surety that these are, in fact, portraits of the Lockers. The man and the woman carved from wood appear to be wearing clothes from the 1930s and 1940s eras. The Lockers would have been living in College Hill during those decades, but when closely comparing the archival images of the Lockers with the carved portrait plaques, it is difficult to absolutely identify them as the subjects. It remains possible that these plaques depict another pair of black leaders from Cincinnati or further afield. Although we may never know with certainty who the subjects in these plaques celebrate, we prize them as rare examples of 20th century portraits of people of color. Recently, they inspired local artist Terrence Hammonds as he developed his interactive art installation called Everything is Everything for the Art Museum's Rosenthal Education Center. Hammonds has created screen prints on cut out wooden shapes that reflect and feature images of black cultural icons and activists that have inspired him. Be sure to check out Everything is Everything, new works by Terrence Hammonds at the Rosenthal Education Center and this will run until April 25th, 2021. There, you will have the creative opportunity to make a portrait of someone you admire. In the meantime, here are some questions to think about regarding the portrait plaques in our collection. Why do you feel that it's important to surround yourself with images of the people that you love, that you respect, and that you admire? If you were to make a portrait plaque, who would it be of? What materials would you use? Would these materials reflect your feelings about them or reflect something about their personality? Thanks for joining us.